have? What are we gonna draw today? We're gonna draw a scooter. We also call these ankle breakers mm -hmm. because every time I pick them up, it just swings stay. around and smacks you in the. <laughs> we hope you're gonna follow along with us. You need something to draw with, some paper and something to color with. Yeah. All right. Let's draw a scooter. Yeah. An ankle breaker. <laughs> Let's first draw the bottom of our scooter. We're gonna draw a horizontal line towards the bottom of our paper so that we have room for the scooter up here towards the top. Yeah, now let's draw let's draw a diagonal line that comes down like this and we could just draw a straight line on the back. Then we're gonna connect the bottom of those short lines with another horizontal line. There's the part that you step on. Okay, now let's draw our wheels. We're gonna draw one circle over here. I'm gonna draw them kind of big. Kind of big, but kind of small. And we want to draw the same size wheel over here on the right. I'm watching you. That's a good circle. <laughs> Look at that. That's awesome. Now we're going to draw that same size circle over here. It's okay if they're a little different. Now we're going to draw the back part over here that goes over the wheel. I think this is also the brakes, right? Yeah, it comes push over. Your foot. Push down on it, and then it slows you down. My feet are always too big to get on these things. <laughs> you did it once, and it was like... I know, I could barely fit a foot on <laughs> Okay, now, now we're going to draw the other part, or the top part of the brake, or the fender. We're going to draw another curve that comes up. And this one I'm going to draw past it. We're going to go past, so it's a little longer than the first one. And then we can connect the bottom to the top. Now right here we're going to draw a small circle on the inside of our wheel. That's for the axle. And then we're going to connect. We're going to start here on the top of the step part. And we're going to draw a line that comes back and connects to the axle. And then we're going to start down here on the bottom and connect to the bottom of that little circle. If we were using erasers, we could erase the, the circle line right here, but we're going to leave it. We can also color that in black and it would disappear. Yeah. Now we're going to draw another circle inside, but kind of close to the outside of the wheel. We're going to go all the way around. And then let's draw the spokes. I'm going to draw two lines on the top, two lines on the bottom. And then we could draw two lines coming out to the side. Now let's draw the front of our scooter. We're first going to draw that little circle that we drew for the axle. We'll draw it in the center. Then we're going to come up here and we're going to draw a diagonal line, a really short diagonal line, right, kind of right above the axle. Yeah, then we can draw a diagonal line that's going to start here and it's going to connect down to the left side of the axle. And then we'll do the same thing on the right except connect to the right side of the axle. Now we're going to draw the steering column. We're going to start here. We're going to draw a big line that comes up. Now it's not going straight up a straight vertical. It's a little diagonal. It's tipped just a little bit. Yeah. Now let's draw another one right next to it. I'm going to actually start up here and then draw down. So I'm going to draw right next to it as straight as you can. You could also use a ruler if you wanted to. Yeah, good job. You did it. Now let's draw the handle up here or the grip, the handle grip. We're going to draw a circle at the top. Then let's also come down here and we'll draw a line, a short line across. Then we're going to come down a little further and we're going to draw another short line, except we're going to go past. This is for the clamp. You can loosen it and then make the steering column a little higher, higher or lower. Mm -hmm. Then we're going to draw two lines on the side and then connect the bottom of those two lines. Then we're going to come down here and we're going to draw the brace that connects the step part to the steering column. Yeah, I'm not so sure what all the names are. So it's not just a wheel and a stick. <laughs> yeah, floating. <laughs> <laughs> so let's start here and we'll draw a diagonal line that comes up 
and then we're going to draw another diagonal line that comes down right next to it. Let's also add the details around the wheel. Let's do the same thing we did over here. So we're going to first draw a part of a circle going all the way around that's close to the outside of the wheel. And then we can draw two lines straight down, two lines on the left, and two lines on the right. Now let's also draw a fender, just like we did for the back, but let's draw it up here on the front. We're going to draw a curve that comes out of the front, and we want to try to match the outside curve of the wheel. And then we're going to draw a curve coming out the back. Then we're going to draw that same curve up above and on the front and also on the back. And I'm getting a little close to the brace, but that's, that's okay. <laughs> now we're going to connect the bottom to the top or the top to the bottom. We did it, Hadley. We finished drawing our scooter. It looks really cool, except we still need to do my favorite part. Color. Yeah, this part we're gonna fast forward, but at the end, you can pause the video to match the same coloring. You ready to fast forward? Yeah. Hadley, we did it. We finished coloring our scooters, and I love that you colored your scooter differently than mine. You guys at home can color your scooters any way you want. Yeah, you don't have to color it the same way. Mm -hmm. You could also add more details. You could even draw somebody riding it. Maybe they're doing a cool trick. Oh yeah. We hope you had a lot of fun following along with us and drawing your own scooters. We also hope you have fun changing your drawings. We'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye. Hey, parents and teachers, take a photo of your child's finished artwork and post it on Facebook or Instagram. Also, be sure to tag us in it at Art for Kids Hub. Did you know that we also have a website? You can find it at artforkidshub.com. It has more lessons and information about art supplies we love to use. You can also visit artforkidshub.tv to learn more about our awesome Art Hub membership. The membership includes exclusive lessons and our own apps so your child can learn art in a focused, distraction-free environment.